Congenital adrenal hyperplasia is a collection of genetic conditions that limit your adrenal glands' ability to make certain vital hormones. In most cases of congenital adrenal hyperplasia, the adrenal glands don't produce enough cortisol. The production of two other kinds of hormones also may be affected, including mineralocorticoids, for example, aldosterone, and androgens, for example, testosterone. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. THANKYOU for your love and support. Congenital adrenal hyperplasia can cause problems with normal growth and development in children, including normal development of the genitals. It affects both males and females. Although congenital adrenal hyperplasia can be life-threatening, most people with it can lead normal lives with proper treatment. There are two major types of congenital adrenal hyperplasia. 1. Classic congenital adrenal hyperplasia. This more severe form of the disease is usually detected in infancy or early childhood. 2. Non-classic congenital adrenal hyperplasia. This milder form usually becomes evident in late childhood or early adulthood. The cause of congenital adrenal hyperplasia is an inherited genetic defect that limits production of one of the many enzymes the adrenal glands use to make cortisol. The enzyme most commonly lacking in congenital adrenal hyperplasia is 21-hydroxylase. Congenital adrenal hyperplasia may sometimes be called 21-hydroxylase deficiency. Signs and symptoms of congenital adrenal hyperplasia are worst when the enzyme deficiency is severe. Most of the problems caused by classic congenital adrenal hyperplasia are related to a lack of cortisol, which plays an important role in regulating your blood pressure, maintaining blood sugar and energy levels, and protecting your body against stress. A child with classic congenital adrenal hyperplasia may also experience a lack in the adrenal glands production of aldosterone. This can lead to low blood pressure, lower sodium level and higher potassium level, Sodium and potassium normally work together to help maintain the right balance of fluids in your body, transmit nerve impulses, and contract and relax your muscles. Excess production of the male sex hormones, androgens such as testosterone. This can result in short height, early puberty in boys, abnormal genital development in girls and severe acne. Signs and symptoms may vary, depending on which specific gene is defective. The condition is passed along in an inheritance pattern called autosomal recessive. Children who have the disorder have two parents who either have the condition themselves or who are both carriers of the genetic mutation that causes the condition. Tests to diagnose congenital adrenal hyperplasia include Physical exam Your child's doctor will examine your child and evaluate symptoms. If, based on these findings, the doctor suspects congenital adrenal hyperplasia, the next step is to confirm the diagnosis with blood and urine tests. Blood and urine tests. Tests used to diagnose congenital adrenal hyperplasia measure levels of hormones manufactured by the adrenal glands, cortisol, aldosterone and androgens. A diagnosis can be made when there are abnormal levels of these hormones. Doctors are required to conduct hormonal tests for congenital adrenal hyperplasia in newborns during the first few days of life. Blood is drawn with a heel prick of the newborn and analyzed. To treat congenital adrenal hyperplasia, it's best to get a referral to a specialist in childhood hormonal issues pediatric endocrinologist. Treatments include Medications in most cases, your child's doctor will prescribe replacement hormone medication to boost the levels of deficient hormones in your child and restore them to normal levels. For example, your child may take an oral drug, such as hydrocortisone or dexamethasone to replace cortisol and fludrocortisone to replace aldosterone, on a daily basis. At times, children with congenital adrenal hyperplasia need multiple drugs, with even higher doses prescribed during periods of illness or severe stress, including surgery. Steroid-type replacement medications may cause side effects, particularly if the doses are high and are used long-term. Your doctor will monitor your child for medication side effects, such as the loss of bone mass and impaired growth, and will also order regular blood tests to see if medications need adjusting. Keep all scheduled appointments so that your doctor can regularly check your child's progress, including monitoring changes in height, weight and blood pressure. Treatment for girls with classic congenital adrenal hyperplasia involves a careful balance of the right amount of cortisone medications. 
Adequate cortisone replacement is needed to suppress androgens, allowing for normal height and minimizing masculine characteristics. However, too much cortisone may cause Cushing syndrome. Your doctor will schedule regular tests to monitor your child for these side effects. As adults, some men and women with congenital adrenal hyperplasia are able to stop taking their replacement hormone medications. However, others, particularly people with the classic form of the disease, may need to take replacement hormone medications indefinitely. Surgery. In some infant girls who have ambiguous external genitalia, doctors recommend reconstructive surgery to correct the appearance and function of the genitals. This procedure may involve reduction of the clitoris size and reconstruction of the vaginal opening. The surgery is typically performed between two and six months of age.